Hi everyone. We're going to wait just a couple of minutes while everybody makes their way in. Looks like we have three waiting, or three in. So hello to you. Glad you guys could join me over here on Trinity Stamps page. We're gonna be making another five by seven card. I know I have been obsessed with them lately, so I um, had to make another one. And you're gonna see quite a bit more of them on my channel or even over here on Trinity Stamps channel. So yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and just talk a little bit about the products we're gonna be using today. I have the, this is gigantic. <laughs> it's a, how big is it? It's an 11 or no. Yeah, like an 11 by four inch stamp set. It is huge. And this one is called, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hi, Mary, how are you? Yeah, um, and then it has the matching dies. I have them just kind of in the back in the packaging. And so we're gonna use this one. I also pulled in this stamp set. This is another giant slimline stamp set that's new. This one is called Cozy Cottage Porch. And I'm only using it for the sentiments. Thanks, Mary, yeah, I like this. I like these stamps, these are fun. A um, lot of fun possibilities with these stamp sets, especially I love this one, which I have a card coming out. Hi, Tracy, how are you? I do have a card coming out with this one in a couple of weeks, but yeah, and I'm not gonna use the dies for this one today because we're just using a sentiment, but this is our main focus. And then we have the Bed of Roses stencil. This is a six by nine two piece stencil. I just thought it would be fun if we're making a new home card. Who doesn't like flowers, right? And then we have the Modern Embossed A7 layer dies because if I'm gonna make an A7, I might as well use this die because I love these Modern Embossing on there. So we have that. So what are you guys up to today besides watching me? Hopefully learning a thing or two here. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna go ahead and get my background going because uh, I do plan to use a pigment ink and that'll take a minute. Hi, Mary. And this is cool because it layers up nicely. You see how they layer on top of each other? Well, this one is just the leaves, but it does have the embossing on there of the roses. So it's so easy to line up. We're gonna do, you know, I'm gonna do the leaves first, I think. That's what I wanna do. So. Let's go ahead and just tack this to the back of there. And I don't end up needing this whole sheet. This is just a craft piece of cardstock. And I do apologize if I sound rough. I do have a little bit of a cold. My daughter brought something home from her last little trip. Little laundry, always have laundry. Working from home, happy to have the distraction. <laughs> Who doesn't love a little distraction when you gotta work, right? Okay, so the colors I wanna use for this background, because I want it to be, you know, sort of, not subtle per se, but I have plenty of laundry to do too, Mary. My goodness. All right, this is Goddess Green. It's from Ink on 3. And I'll just use my Blender Buddy. And I am just going to lightly blend through all of that. Yep, this stuff shows up really nicely on this craft cardstock, which is why I like it. It's still fairly subtle, but looks good it doesn't look like i'm doing much if you just look at the camera or look at the by looking at the screen i'm not feeling like it's it's much but when i pull this away you're gonna see what i'm talking about i may need a re-anchor though because i use this pad i don't use it all the time in videos but i definitely use this pad a good amount oops okay Yeah, we may have shifted a tiny bit. Sure did. That's okay. So we won't end up using this entire panel anyway. There we go. And I, of course, will have it all over my fingers by the time we're done. That's just what I do. Yay, 
There we go. All right, I think I like that. Let's pull this away and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. So I like that. It's a good, good little something, something going on there. We'll put that away. And then we're gonna add on the next layer. But before I do that, I do kind of want to clean this off just a little bit. And easily do that just with a little water, microfiber cloth, and you can easily clean off your stencils. So obviously depending on what type of medium you use over them, but okay, now it's like stuck. There we go. Um, paint's gonna be a little more difficult, but ink is easy. All right. So then we'll bring in the next one. And I think I wanna secure that down a little bit more. But like I said, this has the embossing of the leaves. I don't know if you can see that. So we're just going to kind of line that up because you can see that color right through that. And then when I actually do the blending, which I want to make sure and secure that even better. When I do the blending, it will be perfect. Well, who knows? There's always room for human error. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. All right, so now we're gonna bring in some sharp tooth white. White on craft looks so pretty. And I do have a blender buddy for that one. So I don't wanna go quite as thick with this. So I'm gonna to try to be a little bit subtle, otherwise it'll pool, if that makes sense, and take a little bit longer to dry. So I'm just gonna pounce my color on my blender buddy. Because if you get too thick on there, then it can seep underneath the stencil. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Which I may still be doing that anyway. We'll see. All right. And it doesn't really look like I'm doing much here. It really doesn't. But once I pull this away and it really dries on there, you're going to see it. And it's so pretty. I love craft and I love how colors just look on craft. They look different, so different on craft sometimes than they do on the um, like white. Hi, Chari, how are you? Charmaine, what's up, girl? Cape Town. All right. See how it kind of pulled up in certain areas, but otherwise, isn't that so pretty? Yes. I love that. So there's some areas where it's gonna to need to dry a little bit longer, but once this really dries, it's gonna pop a little bit more, but it's so pretty. I love that. Ooh, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off as well, just because otherwise I will end up forgetting because it's white and then I'll get it on everything. Because I've done that before too. Yeah, white roses, how fun. All right, so as the title says, we're making a new home card. And so, move this out of the way. Put our sharp tooth away. And then we're just gonna let this sit here while we let it dry. All right, so once again, we're using this stamp set. I'm gonna use this image. And to save a little time, I had already like I typically do if you watch me, had already stamped out our house. I stamped out a couple of clouds and I stamped out the sun. Thanks, Mary. Uh, and I did die cut them already and then just kind of tacked them back in here with a little bit of like post-it tape or mint tape or heffy tape or whatever you might have. This is a great way to do like cards on the go. You know, sometimes you can't take a die cutting machine along with you. And so if you just prepare ahead of time, like stamp out your images, die cut them, stick them back in there, you can color and make cards while you're out and about, which is super handy for me because we seem to be out and about. All right, so that's for that. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom us in and color. And this isn't gonna be too in-depth, too crazy. We've got some W's. I'm gonna keep this as more of a white house. So I've got the W1s, W3, W4, and W6. Isn't it cute, Tracy? It's just such a fun little set. And there's, I think there's lots of possibilities for it with all those little houses. You even have a little garage, the mailman, you have a cat and a pup, just lots of options, it's fun. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with our W1, add a little bit of, cause I want this to be a white house. 
I'm just using some flicking motions so that that color gets really subtle. And I do apologize for my sniffing. Ugh, so annoying for me. I've been combating it for a day or so now. Adding in some W3, little bit of flicking, and then I'll probably bring in that W1 again just to get that a little bit blended. Okay. But I put that W1 down because it kind of wets the paper, if that makes any sense, if you're new to Copic coloring, which I know, Tracy, you are not because, girl, you can color. My goodness. Okay. And then for our roof, we're going to do some W4 and W6. So I'll put down my wash. W4. For our roof. And obviously, think of all the possibilities of houses you could make. You could try and make this look like a realistic neighborhood by making like browns and reds and stuff, and that would be fun. But you could also do them in like rainbow colors or whatever, because... I mean, they're obviously cartoon homes, so. And then once again, just bring in some flicking motions. And then we'll blend that out a little bit more with our W4. It'll deepen up that color already. All right. So that takes care of that. I think for the, I'm just going to do the, Door handle. Same color. Yeah, you're definitely amazing with the Prismas, my goodness. Hi, Dawn, how are you? How are you, lady? All right, and then for our windows, we're using some Y23, just to make it look like there's somebody in there. Keep it nice and bright. And while I have it out, I'm gonna do our sun. So I'll put down a wash of color there. And then I'm going to bring in some YR14. And then I am going to have to shade that out. But isn't that fun? Normally you wouldn't think those two colors would be something that might go together, but they do. They do. All right. And look, I already have ink all over my hands. One of those risks of coloring. <laughs> okay, so the clouds. I'm going to bring back in that W1 for our clouds and just add some some little marks where I think they might look good. So a little shadowing. And then our door is going to be a red door. So we've got some R46. You are very welcome, Tracy. I've had the privilege of receiving cards from Tracy and they are stunning always. I mean, I love getting handmade cards. Who doesn't, right? They're just wonderful. I made a card for my husband. It was his birthday yesterday. He's so funny because he's like, you never make me cards. I'm like, well, I guess I'm not getting the same reaction, probably because he's so used to me making cards that he's just, not that I need some like, wow, I can't believe you made me a card, but <laughs> he's always like, that's nice. <laughs> that's that. Okay, so there is our house, our clouds, and our sun, and that's just a taste of what you could do with our little um, stamp set. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Okay, so we have that. This is starting to dry a little bit better. And you can see those white roses. Oh, I just love them. Inky fingers means you're having fun. And yes, yes, Tracy, I'm having a good time. Always when I'm in here, I am having a good time. And I sure hope what that means is that it makes others want to have a good time because oh, I just love it. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in this Modern Embossed A7 layer die because I'm kind of obsessed with it lately if I'm making... A7 cards. All right, I just want to see something really quickly. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. This is the second biggest one. And I'm going to tack that on there. 
and run this through my die cutting machine. I'm actually trying to leave it so that I can possibly use these parts for something, maybe even the inside of our card. So let me run this through my die cutting machine really quickly. And it's just sitting over here. The boys are sound asleep in here. By boys, if you have never watched me before, um, you're sneaking in at work, Dawn. <laughs> That's funny. Um, by boys, I'm talking about my cats. They are asleep in here. So is the pup. And it's nice and quiet right now. It was not quiet about 45 minutes ago when they were running around wreaking havoc on everything. So now I've got this. I'm thinking I kind of want to put this on the inside of our card. So I'm going to trim that down. Always trying to think ahead. You know, I like to do the insides a little bit. So let me trim this down just enough. And then since it's a five by seven, I'm going to have to make it a little smaller than five. So. And I don't know, I may save this piece for something else too. We'll see. We will see. But it just seems a shame to waste that part. Okay, so we've trimmed it down. Hi, Alyssa from Boston. How are you? So happy you all could join us. All right. So now I've got my card base, which I typically just get pre-made card bases for these. And what I want to do is I want to do an angled look. Sometimes that is fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some more of that tape and I'm going to tack this down in place. So you can see where I'm kind of tacking it down. I'm lining up that one edge there. I'm lining it up like this because what I want to do is put this into my guillotine trimmer and trim off the excess. Yes, thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. Hit that like button. Okay. Yes, because that will keep us doing this and lets others know and my boss know that you guys like doing or like seeing this stuff. So, all right. I'm just going to line this up there. This is, for me, is the easiest way I have found to trim off any of this excess. Because I'm crazy and I think I want to pop this up on foam tape. Okay, bring that over just a little. Okay, so that takes care of that. And so that way when I actually tack it down, it will be a little bit wonky, which is so fun. All right. So let's peel that back and then I'm going to bring in some foam tape. I got this big old mama foam tape here and we'll just run this on the back. And trim off that excess. All right. You're not late to the party, Melissa. I did stencil the background. Um, the stencil that I used is the Bed of Roses stencil. It is a two piece stencil like this that layers over the top. Oh, yes, so I love creating your own and imagine the different colored roses you could do. You could do some sort of a fun rainbow with that. I love it. All right, I'm gonna have to trim that down a little bit more. So we'll just go as far as we can, and then I'll just add a piece to it. Which this might be excessive. You don't have to necessarily put foam tape, especially something this thick on there. But I am extra sometimes, you know. Okay, I'm going to trim that down. And save that fun little piece for, you know what, I'll just put it right here. Won't save it, just put it right there. Okay. I know. <laughs> no, 
Tracy, I never got my missing order. I actually ordered this a couple weeks after that because I was like, this hasn't shown up yet and I need some foam tape. And um, this is something different than I originally had ordered. So I'm actually gonna have to contact the company because uh, the post office said, well, after 30 days, it is considered missing. And then you'll have to contact them because, and in case anybody ever has a missing order, it's up to whoever sent it to you to file a claim. But, uh, so I can't file the claim that it's missing, but I actually have two more days and that a package is officially missing, but everybody at the post office is like, yeah, you're never getting that package. <laughs> so I was like, okay. All right, I'm gonna try, so part of my head, I'm gonna try to line this up on there. One of the things you can do is completely cover this in liquid glue, which maybe we'll try that. So that'll make it a little bit, um, like it'll move a little better. So I think we're gonna try that because I know that if I try to do this with you guys here, it's not gonna be so successful, which, you know, hey, just goes to show I'm human too. But by the power of editing, I can change some of that. <laughs> I know, I know my mom's been having issues with orders lately too. It's just stinky. All right, so pardon my head. I'm going to try and line this up just how we had it before. And voila, we did it. We did it. Okay, so we got that. I am going to go ahead and just tack this down on the inside while we're doing stuff. But I know that a lot of people are having a hard time getting people to work or getting getting employees. So I know that can cause bits of, you know, that can cause issues. So anyway, all right, so there is our inside for now. Let's stamp another sentiment. Okay, so I've got this scrap of green cardstock and it goes almost all the way across. I like that. So what I'm gonna do is take this stamp that says it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood pull that off of there and we are going to uh, attempt to stamp this attempt to stamp it straight <laughs> we'll grab out our blackout ink which is what I actually stamped the house and stuff with and then we're gonna try and line that up at the bottom centering it as best we can if you're not good at that just stamp it which that didn't work out that great so I'm actually gonna restamp it because I don't trust myself There we go. So for whatever reason, I'm having a hard time getting that part. So I'm just gonna take a pen, a black pen, and I'll fill that part in. I'm not concerned about it. And that's why I have Copic multi-liners around because oftentimes I don't stamp very well. It, what I could do is put this into my Misty and stamp it that way. That would be, that'd be one way to do it, but oh well. All right, guillotine trimmer again. You know, we're going to stamp, or cut this one off at the bottom first. That way I don't have any issues. And I'm just lining the clear plate up with the top of the word. That's what I'm doing. All right. And there. That is that. So, yeah. So go through your stash. See what you have. Let's see. That's gonna go over that pretty nicely. So what I'll do is I'll pop out my little pieces. So this is what I'm talking about. Keeping that tape there ready. All right, and now let's start putting stuff down. We'll kind of test out where we want it. I think I'm gonna put my sun up here. And if by chance you do happen to be interested in anything that I'm playing with, it is linked in the description box down below. So keep that in mind. All right. Have that little cloud covering that one just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get our, I guess I didn't need to go all the way to the side there. All right, we're gonna try, we're gonna attempt to line that up straight. Again, sorry for my sniffing. I know that's annoying. Hi, Mick. You're not late, you're fine. That's the beauty of replay. If you really wanna rewatch it, you can rewatch it. 
Okay, and then we'll just put our house down. Kind of trying to center that up on the words themselves. And then we have this one last cloud. Put that on there. And then, of course, I have to do embellishments. But before I do that, I do want to stamp that one last sentiment on the inside. So again, that one's coming from the Cozy Cottage Porch. I just love this. Congratulations on your new home. As you can tell, I've been using that one, which is great that people are buying homes. Okay. And then once again, pull out that ink. Hopefully I can stamp this one better. And we'll just put that one in there. You could very easily stamp one of the houses, like that same house, over the top of that if you wanted something more. I think that could be fun, which I do all the time. If you watch me, you know that I'm like using a different color. Sometimes I'll stamp it on the inside. Okay, then of course I have to use some rhinestones, so I'll get out my little tidy tray. These are the Amber Glow Embellishment Mix, and we'll just add a few of those to that, get out my little hiccup stick, and then we'll start putting a few of these down. Which you know, sometimes I struggle with how many to put, <laughs> where to put them. You know, because you're trying to get your eye or the recipient's eye to go a certain, you know, like follow a certain path. And sometimes that can be a challenge. Okay, whoops. So I noticed a couple of these are stuck together. There we go. Put him, we're going to put him off of there, and then we'll put this one like up here. If I can get him there. Okay. So then we'll start sticking stuff down. There we go. Happening, making it work. I love that. That really makes the sun. This color it makes the sun and the windows pop a little bit. Oh, okay. There we have it. I know, bling. Oh, I love bling. Yeah, Tracy, I know we've kind of discussed that before. Yeah, <laughs> Mary, you love the shinies. Uh, we've discussed that before, how sometimes that it just is hard to know exactly where to place them, but whatever. Just put them where you want. Have fun. But that's it, guys. That's the card today. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Congratulations on your new home. So, and there is, I mean, I didn't make a matching envelope today, but there is obviously the A7 envelope builder. If you are into making your own envelopes, which I am, so chances are after the camera goes off, I'm gonna be making a matching envelope because I love doing that. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I am actually gonna be gone for the next couple weeks, starting next Tuesday. So there won't be lives with me here on YouTube, but keep an eye out because, thanks Mary, there will be lives with Carrie on Instagram, and there will be lives on Facebook with Lene. And um, I, like I said, I'm gonna be gone for two weeks. So not this next week or the following week, but then I think, I don't know what date it is. I think by the 18th, that's gonna be my next live on here. I will have videos here, but um, we're gonna go welcome our son home from a nine month rotation. And so I'm gonna be out of town for two weeks. Um, thank you, Melissa, I sure will. I will absolutely tell him that. But yeah, so keep an eye out for those other lives. You know, we're always trying to keep things fresh over here and do fun things for you and show you all kinds of different things for the stuff that you may be buying and even stuff you may already have. So um, thank you for coming and hanging out with me today. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'm going to see you very soon in another video. Uh, just keep it up guys. Keep being amazingly creative and know that you are loved. Bye everybody. Thank you.